So hey, what's up mga kote? It's me, Ate Marielle, at welcome sa Quadernos, where learning is the name of the game. So kung bago ka pa lamang sa aming YouTube channel, i-click mo na subscribe, like, and share button para mag i ka sa aming mga videos. So sama natin si Super K sa panibagong araw at panibagong lesson na ating matututunan dito sa Quadernos. At ang bagong lesson natin for today is Observing Weather. So syempre, madalas na, na discuss na natin itong Observing Weather. So this is for our grade 4 edition. And ang goal natin, ang objective natin for today is syempre malaman natin um, what are the measure, uh, what ano yung mga tools na ginagamit to measure and observe the weather. So, before we start our lesson, we have a small trivia for today. So, trivia for today. Dogs can sense human emotions. So, of course, we know that dogs are man's best friend. And studies have revealed that dogs' brains have voice-sensitive areas very similar to those humans. In terms of both location and activity, in a University of Lincoln study, the researchers found that dogs were able to correctly pair a sound conveying in a certain emotions that with a photo of human depicting that emotion. So, yung syempre meron tayong uh, sino ba naman ang hindi gusto ng dogs to be uh, mag-alaga ng dogs. Kasi nga, ang dogs natin ang pinaka-loyal na animal na ating pwedeng maalagaan dito sa ating bahay. So, I have two dogs and I think they can sense talaga human emotion. So, when I'm sad, or kapag medyo stress ako, lumalapit yung aso. So, yung, yung tendency nun is, ginagawa nila yun to relieve my stress. So, that, this is a true and accurate na trivia na masasabi kong talagang uh, uh, ano yun? proven and tested. So, uh, dog guesses human emotions and they also know if sino yung hindi katiwatiwala sa paligid mo. So, yeah. So, this is a this is our trivia for today. So, dog can sense human emotions. So, ito na yung ating lesson proper. Weather is a state or conditions of the atmosphere with respect to heat and cold, wetness and dryness, calm and storm, clearness and cloudiness in a particular area and at a particular time. So, syempre, sa weather, pagtingin mo pa lang sa taas, pagtingin mo pa lang sa langit, or pag nakita mo yung uh, medyo maliwanag yung paligid mo, alam mo na na maaraw or sunny day. Pag medyo madilim, pag medyo makulimlim yung taas, uh, medyo gray na yung mga ulap, masasabi mong ma magiging maulan na or magiging rainy day. So, yan. Yung weather natin is malalaman dito kung, syempre, yung day and night, malalaman din natin doon kung may, kung kamusta ba yung weather natin. So, mas madadetermine natin yung weather sa ganong araw kapag day. Kapag kasi night, hindi mo na makikita kasi nga madilim na. Weather changes from day to day. So, may mga uh, medyo maulan, may ambun-ambun lang, may sobrang init, may super mahangin, uh, medyo cumulus clouds yung nasa taas, cirrus clouds yung nasa taas. So, depende siya every day. So, it, it varies and it depends. Climate is a broader concept since it relieves, refers to conditions over a large area of a period of many ways. So, sa climate. So, ano ba yung klima ng ating Pinas? So, Ang climate natin dito is um, klimang tropical and uh, tropical country tayo. So, meron tayong uh, tag-ulan at tag-araw. So, yan. So, elements of weather. So, shoutout sa mga BTS fans dyan. So, dinownload ko yan para sa inyo. Chares. So, elements of weather. Temperature is the measure of the energy of motion of the molecules in a material. When a material is heated, the molecules speed up and spread out. When the material cools, the molecules slow down and come closer together. So, syempre, madalas nakikita natin ginagamit yung, thermo, ah, yung, tempera ah, yung temperature, na may measure natin yung temperature kapag, ah, for example, ginagamit natin yung thermometer. Ah, if may lagnat ba, if titignan natin if may lagnat or wala. So, ba ngayon sa mga malls natin, um, they measure our, temp our body temperature ah, kapag... Uh, papasok tayo sa mall, yung meron tayo temperature check. So, sa, pag sa weather din, meron tayo ginagamit na thermometer or pag measure ng temperature uh, to uh, gado ba kainit, gado ba kalamig. So, ganyan. So, yan yung LMS of weather. So, ang uh, LMS number 1 natin is yung temperature. So, syempre, masasabi natin na maulan or malamig kapag syempre, nasa mababag degree 
Celsius yung ating uh, dust yung thermometer. So, mabemeasure natin na sobrang init yung temperature natin kapag nasa uh, above 40 degrees. So, ganyan. Temperature is measured by an instrument called thermometer. As I have said early, earlier, to measure temperature, you must have a thermometer. The number on the scale is the temperature reading. So, di ba may mga ano doon? Celsius or yung 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, ganyan. So, meron tayong digital and of course, yung ang laman ng isa is mercury. Yung traditional, yung dating ginagamit sa mga clinic. So, naabutan ko pa yon. So, yung sinishake nung nurse or nung assistant ng doctor. Tapos, saka siya ilalagay. So, nameasure doon. So, okay. Today, doctors recommend that using battery-operated thermometers is safer for taking body temperature. So, malala sinasabi sa amin ito kapag humahawa kami ng thermometer na may mercury sa loob. Pag kunyari, chemistry class, kapag nasa, um, uh, um, nandun kami sa aming lab, lab, or sa aming, ano nga tawag na nakalimutan ko na, basta sa lab, sa home, hindi siya sa home lab eh, um, nakalimutan ko na yung tawag, basta puro yung mga, laboratory apparatus. Eh. So, laboratory talaga. Yun, laboratory nga pala. So, yun, sinasabi lagi na, sinasabi sa amin lagi ng teacher na mag-ingat doon sa paggamit ng thermometer kasi nga, pag nabagsak siya eh, nasira. So, delikado yung nasa loob nun. So, yung pinaka mercury nun sa loob. So, ngayon, so, naabot ako din yung um, mas okay nga na digital thermometer yung gamitin. So, yun yung madalas na ginagamit na natin ngayon kapag nagte-temperature check tayo. Mas safer and mas mabilis makadetermine ng temperature. Kasi nga, very innovative and very useful talaga yung digital. So, this is the digital thermometers. So, eto. I'm gonna check this one. Wait. Nawala yung ink. Beta. Wala yung ink. Okay. Ayaw nyo lumabas. Ayan, ayan. <laughs> Kung kailan naman na to. So, wait. Ayan. So, this is yung ginagamit natin ngayong pandemic. This is the temperature number one. So, ito, yung pag-temperature natin Ngayon, kapag kunyari, nandun tayo sa mall, sa simbahan. So, yan, ginagamit namin yan pag nasa simbahan kami. So, this one is the recommended one ng mga doctors kasi nga, it's safer and mas mabilis makadetermine ng temperature. And this one, this is the traditional ther thermometer na may mercury sa loob. So, ito, sinasabi talaga na ingatan namin yan. Ingatan na mabasag, huwag maglalanda sa kamay yung mercury niyan kasi nga it is uh, dangerous for us. So, ayan. This is the recommended one. Ito at itong mga digital uh, thermometers for us. So, next. Air pressure is a force caused by the weight of air. It is the force that air exerts on objects. The more air there is, the greater the air pressure Air pressure decrease with the ha with height. The higher you go, the less air pressure there is. Air pressure is measured by air barometer. So, yan, yung air pressure, may nakita na, nakakita na ba kayo ng barometer? So, yan, kapag meron kaming science time, it's always uh, recommend na mag-use kami ng barometer. So, meron nga mga, mga parang improvised barometer. Yung parang pinagagawa kami ng project pag gumawa kayo ng wind vane. Gumawa kayo ng barometer, depende sa aming trip. So, parang may ganong tool. Parang representation tool lang siya para sa aming study, sa aming pag-aaral nung kami elementary. So, yan. So, ang air pressure natin is a force caused by the weight of air. It is the force that air exerts on objects. So, ayan. So, there are two types of barometer, the mercury barometer and the android barometer. So, makikita naman talaga natin kung sino yung may mercury. So, this, uh, ow! Oops, nag-deck siya. Ayaw lumabas itong egg. Paano ba ito? Paano nga ba yun? Yan. This is the mercury barometer. So, hindi siya kita. So, we'll choose the black one. So, this is the mercury barometer. And this is the aneroid barometer. So, syempre, pag may mercury, kita-kita na agad yung parang may ganito eh. So, pag aneroid, para siyang compass, I think. So, yan. Yan o. Oh. Change, rain, um, 
stormy, very dry, flare. So, ayan. Ayan yung pag-measure natin ng air pressure. So, sa wind speed and direction are affected by gravity to push from high pressure area and the Coriolis effect. The Coriolis effect states that wind moving on the surface of Earth dominates weather patterns. It is produced a clockwise flow around the low pressure zone, around the southern hemisphere, and counterclockwise flow in the northern hemisphere. So, ayan. So, yung wind direction natin. So, pag talaga may bagyo, tinitignan natin yung wind direction. So, ginagamitan at, ah, uh, so yan, meron siyang Coriolis effect. So, always remember, the Coriolis effect states that when moving on the surface, that wits, may nalaglag yung earphone ko, baka humina yung audio. So, the Coriolis effect natin states that the wind uh, moving on surface of the earth dominates weather pattern. So, yun. So, dito, wind direction his is measured. So, mali na naman tayo ng type. So, tanggalin natin. Black. Hindi natin kung gano'ng kakapal to. So, is... Is measured by the wind vane and the wind force or speed by the anemometer. So, yan. So, yung wind vane, madalas yun ang pinapagawa ko. Kapag may project kami, for example, uh, uh, pag project, uh, gumawa daw kami ng um, example, uh, gumawa kami ng wind vane. So, yan. So, anong grade 4 at grade 5, madalas yan. Gawa kami ng gawa ng wind vane. So, so, the wind direction, wind vane, pag wind force naman, anemometer. So, magkaiba pa rin. Yun. So, yan. So, ito yung wind vane, and this is the, um, I think this is the direction of the wind. So, yan. Wind, this is the wind vane. So, 4. Amount of precipitation in the atmosphere. So, precipitation refers to the rain, snow, rain, rain, ice, snow, and water vapor. Water could be rainy, cloudy, or sunny depending upon the absence or presence of precipitation. So, that nakadepend sa precipitation natin if gaano ba karami or may measure yung weather natin if rainy, cloudy, or sunny. Kasi nga, precipitation refers to rain, ice, snow, and water vapor. So, thank you. Have a great day and God bless. So, click the thumbs up button if you like this video and leave a comment down below if you have suggestions, clarifications, questions, or uh, mga inquiries na rin about our uh, videos and mga lessons natin. So, thank you. See you in my next video. Bye-bye!